In this video, I'm going to perform my solution to the Assassin's Puzzle. There's an entire another video that I made that is the explanation, but it's a little rough, so try to just watch it and see if you can get it. Um, in preparation, before you actually do the performance, you need to do three things, three things in preparation. You need two sets of eight playing cards of two different colors, red and blue, for example. And both decks are comprised of seemingly random cards, but they are in exactly the same order. Here's my red deck. Okay, so all the cards are in the same order. Um, and also, you need to have written down the order of the cards. Simple enough. Uh, so I have King of Clubs, Five of Diamonds, Queen of Spades, you understand. <sighs> now before everything gets kicked off, I'm going to take my red deck, and let me bend this down a little bit. I'm going to take my red deck, and I'm going to take a card off the top and put it on the bottom. Take a card off the top, put it on the bottom. And I'm going to do this however many times I want, and then I'm going to give it to my friend Daniel, um, who did not see me do this. I'm going to give it to him. He's not here, so now I'm Daniel. And then he's going to do it a number of times that I don't know. And so in this way, neither of us know the exact order of the cards. We know the sequence, perhaps. But we don't know, uh, I should say, we cannot know exactly what the order is. So, there's our red. And then we're going to do the same thing with blue, which isn't going to matter much because blue we're going to distribute randomly anyway. But uh, here we go anyway, why not? Okay, so I did this however many times, hand it off to Daniel. He does it however many times. Alright, and so now I'm going to transfer those two piles and uh, see if we can get a good performance. Okay, so we have our two shuffled decks, and the first thing I'm going to do is distribute my blue cards uh, randomly, basically amongst the eight people. This is going to be your identity card. So the first person I hand the card to, their identity is the four of diamonds, and they can show this card. They're going to have to show this card to everyone. And so let's say the next person, seven of spades, six of hearts, king of clubs, five of diamonds, queen of spades, nine of hearts, and ten of clubs. Okay, so hopefully you can see all those. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sh shuffled, shifted deck of red cards. Now this order actually matters. Um, so I'm going to take my list here, as you can see. And the first person I'm going to say is the king of clubs. Come on up. And I'm going to give them the first card in here. And I'm going to say, if this card is a king of clubs or a ten of clubs, um, which is either the first or fifth card, uh, on this list, then um, then you're going to have to give it back and we're going to have to reshuffle. So let's see. Okay, it's the five of diamonds, so we're good. So now I'm just going to go uh, down this list and hand the top card of each going down the list. So I'm going to say, now I need the five of diamonds. Uh, so here's your assignment. Now, they wouldn't show these cards, of course. This is their killing assignment, but we're doing it just, just because uh, we want to look at it. Okay, and the next person is the Queen of Spades. So as you can see, you can kind of tell it's only shifted over once. The next person is the Nine of Hearts. Uh, the next person would be the Ten of Clubs. Then the Four of Diamonds gets their card. Then the Seven of Spades gets theirs. And then the Six of Hearts gets theirs. And so very obviously, this is only shifted once because of the way that I, I shuffled the cards. Um, so obviously, we have an eight cycle. But... Um, if you want to, I mean, you can look at these and, an and do a little anal analyzation, make a chart or whatever, and you can see that this is an eight cycle. Each person, uh, for example, the king has the five, but the five does not have the king. The five has the queen. Um, the queen has the nine. The nine has the ten. Ten has the four. Four has seven. Seven has six. Six has king. And uh, that just goes right back. So everyone has an assignment. There's no pairs or triples. Um, so it worked. Good job. Um, and this will work every time if it's done that way, which is kind of hard to explain. So I hope that made sense. I don't know if I explained it well, but obviously the presentation works. Um, and it'll work every time. So there it is. I'll have another video that tries to explain how I did it.